here one night or two and only four trucks. Come on back, brother. Please subscribe, brother. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. You're watching Only 4 Trucks and today I have something pretty interesting to bring to the channel. This company Beaver Tools had reached out to me a little bit ago and wanted to do a little collab with us. So I looked along what they have to offer and I think I could use this TIG welder for multiple things on the channel. Um, hopefully some stainless stuff or maybe some out of steel stuff, maybe light mounts, things like that. But I'm really excited to open this thing up. It's been quite a long time since I've TIG welded in high school. So I'm kind of curious to get it out and play with it and see how she does and let you guys know, you know what else you should be getting from Beaver Tools. So let's get into this thing. All right guys, so I did already have to open this up just to see what other components I would need to make sure I had everything to do the video. So it's still pretty packaged. Um, this would come in a clear bubble wrap. And what we have here is the Beaver TIG 210A. And I believe it can stick weld and it also said clean welding. It can run on 110 with this adapter that they give you with it, and you can also run on 220 if you're doing something a little hot. And you have your clear line to run your gas bottle, and you have your ground, of course. Come with a owner's manual for directions and such. And you get this hefty bag here, which carries your torch, and weed, and all that stuff. So it's pretty sweet, you got something to easily travel in. So we're going to get this thing all put together, get ready to lay some welds down. We think this is maybe stainless. Um, I don't have you know, any better way to tell you. And I have some mild steel. We're going to try to glue some things together. Hopefully it looks well. and see how this thing does. So back to you in a bit once we get it all together. All right, guys. So we got the welder all set up. We're plugged in. We got gas going. We got our you know, nozzle on here and our tungsten's in place. And everything's all good. Our cup, so to say. A few fancy real welders out there. But we have our stainless in here, ground clamp is on, we got everything cleaned up a little bit. And I'm hoping to put this there and get a little bead on both sides if we're like a T-joint. And I also wanted to point out the uh, tap button here. I'm pretty excited to use it. I hope I can get used to it. I'm used to a foot pedal style, but I think I'll be able to get used to this. And like I said, I hope so because I'm gonna be using this quite a bit on the trucks in the near future. So yeah, let's get some well going here and see, how, see what happens. So it started off a little hot. I think we have the machine up a little too high there. And it's been quite a while, but we'll see what that looks like once it cools down. And hopefully, I have a tiny bit of an idea what I'm doing. It was pretty hot though. So that's what I'm working with here, guys. I don't think it looks too bad. I definitely believe I was a little too hot. But overall, I mean, this thing was melting that metal really well. So, so far, I'm very pleased with this welder. Just the first little bead there. 
I'm going to flip this thing around and try again on a colder setting and hopefully I do a little better here. That time was a little bit harder to carry the puddles if it wasn't hot enough, but obviously I don't think that's a problem because it's pretty hot. It's still welded pretty well. I, do, I think I'm not up to par, if anything, but I'm still pretty satisfied with how it's running. Like I said, I mean, it's welding its butt off to say the least. All right, guys, so here's our regular steel. I'm gonna tack this on here and then we'll give this a shot. I think we need a lot more heat on that deal before we can drag it. Just barely. I'm already starting to learn a better way to hold this button as it was kind of getting to me there. But I'm liking it so far. I'm gonna try holding it a different way, use my index finger maybe, I think maybe that'll help me. Getting hot. But guys, I mean, this thing is really well nice. I need some practice myself. I'm not, not doing too well with keeping my hand really steady and sliding. Kind of struggling with that a little bit. It's been a long time for me, but I mean, it's, it would hold, it's working. And it, I think it looks pretty good too if I could hold it long enough and stay consistent. I gotta say guys, this welder's 
It's doing pretty well for me. I like it. Very satisfied. I'm really trying to stay more consistent with my hand movements because I know that's important. And I, I think that well came out a little bit better. It's not perfect, it's not uniform, you know, it's not the greatest, but like I said, I think it's usable. I think it'll most definitely work. I'll get you guys a better shot here in a second. See, I mean, I don't think they look that bad, guys. Sorry if I'm a little shaky, but I think overall it'll work. I mean, this is one weld of its own, you know, and then we have a second weld. I didn't weld in the center there. But yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, get this thing to focus. Kind of tell from this angle, I mean, it, Looks pretty good. Not too shabby. All right, guys. So as you guys just saw, we welded with this thing. Um, I can't say I know what everything does, but like I said, it is the 210A and it's three stage welder. It says or three type welder. So you could do stick with this, the take for stainless and mild steel and also the clean welding. But you have your function buttons here. You go clean there, and then you have the MMA, which I'm not sure what that is, honestly. You have your pre-flow, welding current, and post-flow, and you could adjust all those with this dial, which is, you know, like right now I'm changing the current. Then you have your, you know, for you turning the, the button on and off for you to work the trigger. You have the two-time and then the four-time deal. You have your positive lead, pretty simple. A little remote cable that goes in with that. I'm sorry, I pointed the ground at first. Duh. When you spin the thing around, you have your gas hookup and your power button, obviously. I just turned off, so the fan will be shutting off here in a second. Then you have your grounding screw. So it's a pretty simple deal. It's a compact little unit. Like I said, it can run on 110 or 220, which is really convenient. Um, you know, you're doing smaller little projects. You can get away with doing it, you know, out of your garage or home or whatever it is. So you don't need some big, crazy power source. 
Yeah, you get yourself a bottle of gas, uh, argon it would be, and you can get yourself TIG welded. So I gotta say, you know, uh, we check this thing out here together. So as you guys can see, you can get yourself this welder for $189.99. I gotta say, it's a really, really good deal if you ask me. You know, for under 200 bucks, you get yourself a TIG welder and you guys can use it for whatever you may need. But it comes with, you know, the extra cups and the different tips and your tungstens and all that stuff. It comes with the hose and the cables. All you need to do, like I said, is get yourself a bottle and you're, you're ready to go welding. So it's a really sweet deal. I gotta say, I greatly appreciate Viva reaching out to me and giving me this opportunity. You know, it took me a little longer than it should have, so I apologize to them for that. I appreciate them still cooperating with me and allowing me to do this deal. So, yeah, uh, I hope to show you this thing real soon in the future, guys. Like I said, it's going to be heading up to Diane's. We've got to make some stuff for the Pete and do plenty of other welding because, as you guys can see, we have a few trucks to work on. So, yeah, I think it's going to wrap it up for this one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this video.